I did a video on this exact GMC Canyon AT4 comparing with a Chevy Colorado Z71. Today I have the Trail Boss and even though these trucks actually do compete, I feel as if the Z71 is a better contender because of the overall features that you get standard, things like that. I borrowed these trucks from Jerry Signer, Buick GMC in South Jordan, Utah and Jerry Signer Chevrolet here in Salt Lake City. They're both available. I'm not sure when I'm going to be posting this video, but be sure to check out their inventory. They always have trucks coming in. Let's go ahead and get into it. The Trill Boss is probably one of the most aggressive mid-sized pickup trucks on the market. The only problem is it looks cheap on the front end. There's a ton of plastic. And on top of that, it only is available with halogen headlights, incandescent turn signals, no fog lights. And I feel as though they kind of missed the mark in my opinion. Now, when you look at the hood, this hood is very aggressive. I love what they've done with the styling of it, especially compared to the GMCs. It's more dressed down in comparison. But on the GMC, you have more painted front end. You have a better grill design, full LED headlights, fog lights. This one also has the forward facing camera, red recovery hooks down below on the Chevy has black ones, which actually I don't mind. But I feel as though the GMC just looks more aggressive down low and they give you slightly better ground clearance for your uh, tires, like for your approach angle when you compare it with the Chevy. And that's just my opinion. I think the front end of the Chevy Colorado Trail Boss could be so much better, especially if they made like LED headlights even an option. I would be okay with that, but they're not available at all. So I feel as though the AT4 just kind of walks away, especially when you see the pricing of these trucks. Let's take a quick look at that really quickly. The Colorado in the video has a radiant red tin coat paint. And here's all the standard equipment. Be sure to pause it. Now, as far as the interior goes, I didn't point it out, but I think the truck does not have the wireless charger for the phone, but it does have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Now, as far as the base price goes, this truck's gonna win obviously on price, so 37.3, and this truck has quite a bit of features added. So the jet black, I believe this is for the interior for the vinyl seating, the assist steps, skid plates, and a few other things on this side here. Now, total price is $44,175, and then as far as the Canyon goes, Onyx Black was the paint there all the standard equipment. This truck definitely does have the wireless charger for the phone. But base price on this truck is $43,000. But here's some of the options on it. So there's not a lot of options on this truck compared to the Chevy, but the price difference is only $3,620. So that's something you have to consider if you are looking at both of these trucks. Now when you look off to the side, check out your fender flares and your wheel and tire design. I do love the wheel design on the Trail Boss so much more compared to the GMC Canyon. It's just no comparison, right? Now, believe it or not, these Goodyear Wrangler Territory MTs are slightly bigger than the Colorado Trail Boss. You have a LT275-65-18 compared to a 265-65-18. These are the Goodyear Wrangler Territory ATs, so not as aggressive, which is a good thing for people who plan on doing more highway driving. I'm willing to bet you the Trail Boss might get a little bit better feel economy with these tires long term. But off to the side, you have the clearance lights for the Canyon. You don't get those on the Colorado. And you have the painted trim piece for the mirror caps. The GMC is gonna have 360 camera that is available for the Colorado. You don't have painted door handles for the Colorado, but you do on the GMC. Same fuel tank size, 21 gallons. And out back, here's some of the badging on the bed. There is nothing on the side for the GMC. There's a mixture of LED and incandescent bulbs inside of here, but these are just incandescent bulbs for the Chevy Colorado. Now out back, you guys can see they have a painted rear bumper. And it's gonna be the exact same for both trucks. Parking sensors only in the rear. You also have the steps on the side of those bumpers built in. Now, this is gonna have an assisted tailgate, right? I'm sure it's available, but this one is not 
assist it you don't have the storage it's not even standard and there is no power plug out back now as far as the GMC goes it does have the power it does not have the spray and bed liner however so that is an option for both trucks they both have the sliding rear glass and let's go ahead and talk about the engine selections as far as the engine selection goes both trucks will be the exact same this truck has the 2.7 liter four cylinder turbo max engine it's going to have 310 horsepower 430 pound feet of torque exact same eight speed transmission 342 rear now as far as the fuel economy numbers go you do get better fuel economy with the colorado so it's showing here 23 highway 18 city so that's another advantage to the chevy is you're going to get better fuel economy it's going to probably be in part like i said earlier to those tires as far as the gmc canyon goes you're gonna have 20 and 17 now they both have a factory lift i didn't mention that earlier but the z71 that i compared with the 84 did not have that lift but yes you guys can see on the mirrors these trucks did exactly the same as far as the interior goes if you don't care about messing this up the chevy colorado is the best way to go now they do give you this vinyl material here which is a soft touch but the rest of this door is going to pretty much be hard plastic now this seat does go up and down manually it does have the vinyl seating which i do like as you guys saw it was an option it only has a tilt steering wheel but you still get the large screens for this truck so you have the 11 inch for the gauge cluster and 11.3 but you don't have dual climate control no heated seats they still give you the usbs down below you have your automatic four wheel drive and it has an auto locker out back but yeah so let's go ahead and check out the interior for the gmc On the GMC, they give you more soft touch on the door. It just looks nicer. Even the trim pieces right here, they just did a better job. And you have a tilt and telescoping steering wheel, power driver's seat, not for the passenger, however. You have vinyl here with cloth, dual climate control, heated seats. And that's pretty much everything that would be a big difference because the screens are gonna be the exact same on both of these trucks and i just like the way that they've designed the dash better it's just a little bit more luxury truck but if you do plan on really using these trucks to go off road sure that trail boss is the way to go out back you guys can see too they did a great job with the rear sometimes it will give you a more dressed down door card in the second row in these mid-sized pickup trucks that's across the board but they don't do that so much for the gmc they do change some of the uh materials but it's pretty much the same you have your air vents cup holders usbs you have a 120 volt power plug down below you have only have a seat back pocket on the passenger seat not on the driver for the trail boss here's the door but there is no usbs or 120 volt power plug out back I do like the vinyl seating that they give you in this truck. You still have the tilt down headrest for more visibility out that back glass. Let's go ahead and check out the payload for both trucks. Here are the numbers on the door. Gross axle weight rating in the front and rear is right here. And then your gross vehicle weight rating is going to be 6,250. Your wheels are 18 by 8.5 and, and 1,515 pounds is the payload let's check it out for the trail boss the numbers gonna be the exact same for both trucks but the payload is gonna be slightly different at 1435 pounds the reason why that it is this truck does have upgraded seats which could be a slightly heavier and it has the running boards which are gonna reduce your payload also they did add the upgraded skid plates down below and those are definitely gonna be heavier than what comes standard so apart from that i think chevy has some work to do on this truck this could be so much better if they do dress up the front end or even make it an option i think some people don't care about the overall design and some people don't care about led headlights because most people don't drive at night right so it's not a big deal to have halogen headlights versus led but i feel as though 
if they made it an option for a front paint front end like the ZR2 with LED headlights, this truck would be a better contender compared to the GMC counterpart.